Welcome to the Mechanics Library E Edition. Today, we have a summer edition to share with you. Here, we just finished walking for three days in the Strawberry Mountain Wilderness Area. Join us for questions and answers in the wilderness. Our footage for this video will be limited because we only have one device to use as a camera. Strawberry Mountain Wilderness Area has good backpacking and a nice campsite because it's a long drive and you might get there late at night. And it is also in Eastern Oregon. The Mechanics Library spent three and a half days cooking, sleeping, fishing, hiking, and squatting mosquitoes out in the wild. Yes, and he had a great time. He, you could say, swatted the flies all day and all night. And as well as snapping the sleep. He was snapping at flies almost all day long. Wiggy played stick incessantly when we stopped for breaks. We had a stove that we were using to cook the food. And we also had uh, plastic bowls that popped in and out. So they were much lighter and they could fit easier in the backpacks. We mostly carried dry foods, which could be added to boiling water to cook them. And we even drank hot cocoa out of our bowls. Here is the pot in which we had to do most of our cooking. Unfortunately, because of fire danger, we could not have a real fire, so we had to use our little stove for everything. We also had to carry bear canisters, one of which is shown right next to the pot. We had a water filter so we could pump water into our water now jeans. We also had special life straw filters so we could drink directly from the water or the waterfall, as the case may be. Yes, there were plenty of streams, lots of waterfalls, and six or seven lakes that we passed. These included Slide Lake, Little Slide Lake, Strawberry Lake, Little Strawberry Lake and High Lake. Over the course of the trip, we ate 21 fish and probably caught double that amount. This salmon trout hybrid caught by Papa was nearly 12 inches long. We also went swimming in a couple of the lakes. It's called Strawberry Mountain Wilderness Area because we saw some non-ripe strawberries there, but we did not see any ripe ones, sadly. When we climbed to the top of Strawberry Mountain, we even got to eat strawberries, but they weren't wild ones. Thank you to Mrs. Wormley, dehydrated strawberry supplier. While we didn't see strawberries, we did see many wildflowers and butterflies. Swarming everywhere, even at the top of the mountain. 
Here is one of the dead butterflies we found on a trail. This is the only one we took home, though. On one night, we stayed on an actual island with rivers on all sides of the ground on which our tents were standing. I think that was everybody's favorite spot by far. We hiked a lot and we got really, really tired. 